What's up guys, it is the Cornish Gamer, and I am back with another episode of Civilization V Brief New World as Venice, and as you can see we are still ahead in gold, which is always good, manufactured goods, population, and surprisingly, science. Um, hopefully we have no sort of scientific civs in our game, so hopefully we'll have no competitors for winning the, like, um, space victory thing, science victory. But yeah, we're back, I remember we were just about to build a national college here. And when it comes down to it, we're actually like, actually I've got the scoreboard up now. Yeah, I decided to put the scoreboard up. We're actually ahead. That's surprisingly good as Venice. Because a lot of the majority of your points you get is off actually, um, like, how many cities you have. And it's pretty good to be freaking ahead with Venice. So we're still exploring the world. Um, I think this these are the only people on our continent, but I have a feeling there's... A lot of the continent we haven't explored yet, like this little bit here, I, I expect there's quite a bit there. Um, let's get engineering, has to build aqueduct, okay good. But yeah, we're doing well on gold, uh, generally we're actually doing really well. Also, you're probably wondering, oh, um, all you're doing is freaking Civ 5. There will be more series is, 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 is coming soon, it's just at the moment it's sort of best to be doing, um, Civ 5. There will be like Minecraft, maybe a bit of Terraria as well, I'm not sure. But soon enough I will be sort of back to normal. And more freaking barbarians, lovely. Boom. Luckily, you know, it's actually when it comes down to it, pretty well protected from like the barbarians because there's like mountainy sort of barrier here. What should we build next? Oracle Tech Arts Army, Writer's Guild, what should we call Epic? Um. Let's build the oracle. Let's go for the oracle. Come on, we can do it. So yeah, uh, you, if you guys didn't know, the sort of wonders you build, some of the wonders, like the oracle, only one sieve can build. You can only put it in one city. The national wonders, like the national college we just built and stuff, are, you know, the most, most wonderful people. <laughs> Rank players by the number of wonders they've constructed. So we're second, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So we've got a whole freaking like different area we haven't actually explored here. Can we fire upon anyone? Nope. Alert. Next turn. So yeah, I'm gonna try and sort of like speed up this series a bit because I mean we're going at a decent pace, but I sort of wanna, you know, uh, make sure like each Civ game doesn't last forever. But I promise there will be different series coming out soon. Ruins discovered. It's a shame we can't freaking use them. Oh god. Kill them. Put them on fire. Yeah, this is why I've learned that these units are on this trade route because freaking barbarians get on my nerves. Pretty much this entire, like, um, Civ sort of, um, series so far has just been me complaining about barbarians. Okay. Explore. Also, I've sort of. It took me a while to figure out, but I've sort of finally cracked how to upload. Basically, you know, France is being a bit annoying, YouTube is being a bit annoying with the new Google Plus, yeah, this is so good. Um, but yeah, everything was generally being a bit annoying, but it's sorted now, someone's enhanced their religion already. Probably like, like already religious. We are now in the medieval era, yay! Alright, let's carry on exploring, we've got this freaking barbarian ship, get on my nerves. Choose research. Theology will be good for faith. Civil service. Guilds, good for money. East India Company. I'm gonna go for guilds, just so we can spam money even more. I know that plays into the medieval era. Yeah, it was the world sort of entering the medieval era now. I mean, I mustn't be that far ahead scientifically if I'm entering the medieval era around the same time as like everyone else, if I have a look. Yeah, I can't be that far ahead, can I? May adopt policy. Yeah, we're about to go on to patronage now. Actually, wait, if we adopt commerce, good for empires focused on gold. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for commerce for now. So I got more gold in the capital. So the, the sort of like social policy I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for tradition, exploration, no, exploration, sorry. Commerce, patronage, maybe aesthetics, maybe exploration, and of course the ideology is a bit later. 
Oh yeah, I have to explain ideologies a bit later on. So the mighty city of Venice is like one of the biggest cities on Earth, like f size 5. But that's the good thing about being Venice, you can sort of just build like... Y your city's pretty much as good as like everybody else's civ. Oh, we got another merchant of Venice. Good. Um, let's have a continue our trade with them. Okay, what should we do with this guy? We could buy city state, conduct trade mission. You know what? I think we should head over to a city state here. And we should conduct a trade mission. It gives us loads of gold. It gives us like, like a thousand gold. So yes, conduct a trade mission. Take out this guy. This is what I'll be doing my, the majority of my Merchant of Venice's, because th this special unit, it gains twice as much gold as from a trade mission. But just to explain what a trade mission is, if you go within a city-state's borders and click Conduct Trade Mission, it gives you a bonus of gold and gains you influence over that city-state, which is good for a diplomatic victory, because that means they'll like me more. It means they'll, they'll add votes to my sort of... It'll add more delegates to when it comes to the World Congress voting. Okay, move on. Oh, we can create a customs house now. Nah, I think we're going to conduct a trade mission with most of our Venice merchant things. Actually, I might send. Hmm. I'm going to go send over my composite bowmen to actually go take them to take those barbarians down because they get on my nerves and they could like destroy my merchant of Venice as well. And I don't know what that, don't want that to happen. What's going on here? Oh, uh, the Could you guys just tell me how to pronounce that in the comments down below? It's really getting on my nerves. But I just realised, generally when it comes to subscribers and how my channel's growing, if my channel continues to grow at the rate it is, which is actually one subscriber per day, which is really good, then I could, yeah, that's a good rate to be at, and I could actually hit 100 subscribers, like, maybe by next month or the month after, which is good. Uh, hoping, I can't wait to reach the 100 subscriber mark, if I ever do, which I hope I will. I don't know, 100 subscribers seems like a really significant sort of mark. Okay, carry on. The Oracle, one free social policy. Uh, it should boost our culture as well. Let's blow it more. Okay, free social policy, so obviously we're in commerce now. Plus two gold from all your land trade routes. Maintenance expect on roads and railways reduced by 50%. Allows the purchase purchasing of land schnets. Okay, I'm going to go for wagon trades for now, it puts up to 50, plus 52. Um, let's get this guy to fire on them. Yeah, there. Okay. Choose production. National epic, plus 25% create people generation in this city, because there's one slot for a great work of writing. Great Wall of China. Let's go for a temple, actually. See if we can get our religion going a bit more. We need to spread um, Catholicism throughout the world. How's Genoa? Oh, Genoa's got one follower of Catholicism as well. That's good. The enemy has been spotted near Genoa. Oh no. Bucharest. When it comes to expiration on Civ games, I usually like barely ever expire. So I just stay where I am and just spam whatever I need to win. Like. A lot of the time I go for like a, um, usually like a science, diplomatic, very so I sort of just stay where I am and just spam gold. But this series I sort of want to explore a bit more to make it, first of all to make it more interesting and I barely ever do it, so why not? I can get those workers there actually. Trespassing and book arrest. Stuff off. Be fine. Yeah, you, when, when you trespass, oh I can get trading post, production of 12, artist guild, Machu Picchu. And the East India Company. But yeah, well, when you sort of like go in the um, city states borders when you're not friends with them, it's sort of like they get a bit pissed off. Yerevan. Okay, so yeah, you can see that that's how pissed off they are. I mean, the more to the left, the more they hate me, the more to the right, the more they like me. Uh, right, you can see they're not too happy because I've been trespassing, but it slowly sort of like balances out. Like, if you are like. How, how can I explain this? I can recapture my worker, cool. If you are friendly with them, then it will slowly, your influence will slowly degrade by one until you hit zero, which is in the middle. If you are like, if they're angry with you, then it will slowly go up by one until it reaches zero. So, to, for them to become allies with you, or like to give you a vote in the city, in the um, World Congress, you need them to be all the way up to the top, and you need to have more influence over them than any other like 
um, city. No, any other civilization. Okay, let's actually get that iron over there. Let's explore more of our boat. And our Merchant of Venice. Look, 1,000 gold and plus 60 influence. Now, they really like us. They are now our allies. And since they are cultural... Wait. Since they are cultural, they will give us a bonus in culture. If I go over to a culture. They are giving us plus 12 culture. So now our culture is just ridiculous. Plus 27. It's quite a bit. What should I build next? East India Company. That's good for gold. Okay, yeah, let's go for East India Company. Also, sorry if you can hear something in the background. It's basically, the weather where I am at the moment is horrific. It's, like, terrible. But, yeah. Actually, I need to start building more trade routes, because we have a lot of, like, spare... I have no sure relationship because while that's nice, it would be best if you were to leave their protection to us. I'd hate for either of us to step on any toes. Hmm. Nah, that they're, they're mine, bitch. Stay away. Oh, actually, some guys placed a new city. That means another trade route as well. Yeah, we need to start building more trade routes, actually. Push up the mine. Next turn. Just a sec, just taking how much time I have left. Damn, time's going quick. Hurry up, please. But as I said before, there will be more series coming. Sorry it's sort of just Civ at the moment. I mean, a lot of you guys seem to be enjoying Civ, actually. So I'm going to continue it, of course. Once I finish this one, I'll start a new one. Maybe, like, a domination victory. Civ will probably will be, like, a new thing on my channel. But I will also be doing Minecraft. Maybe a bit of Terraria, because you guys seem to enjoy that when I played it on the Xbox. And I might do a few stuff with my friends. I'm not sure. Depends on the circumstances. But there will be a lot more stuff coming, don't worry. It's just I'm sort of getting back into the routine of uploading. Hello, Hong Kong. Okay, next turn. Wait, can we upgrade any of uh, in any of our units? Yeah. Oh, when we get civil service, we'll, upgrade, we'll be able to upgrade them to pikemen. East India coming in three turns. Come on. Okay. It's not really much actually happening at the moment when it comes down to it, so far. We've almost, I can see, uh, we're sort of getting a shape for the continent now. I reckon it's just going to go up there and then just go down. And it's just going to end there, but at least we know where, like, what our continent actually looks like. Because our train's gone, like, almost all the way around the world now. Well, our continent. We have a luxury user all style, but, like, what do you think of these offer? Four gold per turn, two iron. Do we have two copies? Yes, we do. Basically, if you have more than one copy of a luxury resource, if you trade one of them away, it doesn't make a difference. It, it, it doesn't affect your happiness at all, because you still have a copy of it. But as you can see, when it comes to money, we have a like shit ton of money. 2,888. That's just ridiculous. Like, for, for this age, anyway. You see how much freaking money Venice has, like, laser stage. Flipping hell. Okay, cool. Next turn. I can see I'm sort of rushing the turns at the moment, but... I just want to make it more exciting, because not much is actually happening at the moment, to be honest. I would have liked to have been some more nearer of a civs to make it more exciting, but unfortunately not. The only... Oh yeah, we made the East, East India Company that. I'm not actually sure... I'm not sure if that's like something only one person can build. I'm not sure. Choose production. Let's make... We, actually, we need to make another caravan and make another trade route. And let's get metal casting. I'm in the mood for metal casting. Next turn. <sighs> yeah, I'm really tired. I only woke up at like, like 12 o'clock. Oh my god, I literally haven't been sleeping because it's still raining outside, but it was like really, really bad rain where I am at the moment. I'm making one of Tumbuck 2. I'll be making one of Tag Hazza, or Tagaza soon. Trade route. Put them back to Venice to put more food into Venice. Um, the workers, you can go on, just build improvements automatically. My troops still going around the world, well, <laughs> the continent. Wow. It's been like going around forever. 
Okay. Caravan in one turn, which means we're going to be able to get another trade route. Just look at that money. I mean, we are getting a bit because we're in a golden age, but still. It's pretty ridiculous what we're earning. And another caravan. I reckon at the moment we are sort of like in prime position to win the diplomatic victory. I don't reckon there's anyone else who's really competing at the moment. Chichen Itza, though. Hmm. Would be bad. Hmm. Let's build a national epic, actually. I right, so if we check some demographics. Yeah, we're still actually quite far ahead when it comes to soldiers, actually. I'm surprised. Uh, manufactured good. Yeah, we're still really far ahead when it comes to gold. Look at the average and just look at us. Um, okay. Now we can upgrade these guys to pikemen. Look at them. Cool. Um, do I have any more? No. No. Okay, no more units can be upgraded, sadly. But, on to sort of like gain influence, I'd say to sort of win the World Congress sort of like thing, I'd say we sort of need at least like 20,000 gold to sort of bribe every single city-state, I'd say. Another good sieve sort of like for diplomatics, Greece, but I just thought Venice a bit more interesting than Greece. Also, I might do a vote at the end. Uh, yeah, I probably will actually. I'll do a vote at the end of this, and you can vote between like different sieves that you would like me to be, or even in the comments down below, just put sieves you'd like me to be, like, like say what victory you'd like me to go for, and yada yada. Okay, so our train's almost gone. Like, look, I can't keep on saying it, but just look where it's gone. It's gone from there all the way around there. Next turn. Ah, so he has completed the stack. That's not good. That means he's probably going for domination. Because if there it is. The statue of Zeus means you can capture cities 15% quicker and easier. That's not good. Let's just quickly click on him now. Let's see what he thinks about me. Friendly. But he doesn't have too many reasons to be friendly. What about friendship? I reckon he's going to attack me. Because the yeah, only thing is, I've learnt from this game. Is that usually when they say it's friendly and they only have one reason to be friendly, they usually want to attack you. So if we quickly go on to soldiers now. Hmm. He could be second though, that's what I'm sort of worried about. So we saw need to so you build up our army a bit more, because I have a feeling he's gonna attack us. I just have a sneaky suspicion. But I don't know. I, at least we're sort of prepared, because one time when I was um who was I? Yeah, I was a, I was a Civ, and it said that, and they barely had any reason to be friendly with me. They attacked me and almost wiped out my Civ, but I think I'm a bit more prepared this time. Okay, Great Merchants earn 25% faster. If you double gold from Great Merchant trade mission, that means I'm 2,000 gold from their trade mission. Allow us to purchase of land schnets. Okay, I'm gonna go for entrepreneurship then. Okay, cool. Also, one way, way, way we can tell when we're gonna get Great Merchants is here. In 26 turns, and in Genoa, 39 turns. So we are earning merchants very quickly, which is always good. And once we get the National Epic, they'll be earned even quicker. They'll be earned 25% quicker in this in Venice. Metal casting, lovely. And now we should have, yeah, National Epic, cool. Um, let's build a workshop, actually, forge workshop. Let's build a forge, actually. Help us build units a bit more quicker, and let's get theology. Just getting our science now. We might actually need to build up a few more science buildings. What should you know we're up to? I can't actually choose production, sadly. Which is annoying. They're building a Colosseum. Bit of lag there, sorry. The people like to smile the most. I'm ahead of you, Askia. Stuff off. I reckon Ask is gonna be my long time rival in this game. I have a feeling you don't particularly like me and me being peaceful. Hmm. I oh, know, let me just quickly go on him and just just, just wait, wait. I'm gonna quickly quick, click on every because I have a feeling. Just, just a feeling that Russia is going to attack Siam. Brazil will just go sit, sit there and do nothing. Askin might attack Brazil, I reckon, maybe. 
and Askia will attack me. That's what I reckon is going to go on. Oh, my golden age is over. Actually, no crap, our tree might actually die. Um, retreat. Look, look at it, it's like completely damaged. Um, okay, let's see what Siam thinks about me. Neutral. They, you have no contested boards, they have an embassy in your capital. What about definition yeah. friendship? No, oh, decline, stuff off. Okay, what about you, Russia? Let's yeah. begin. You have no contested boards, you have an embassy in your capital. You are competing for the favor of the same city states. Are they still my allies? Yes. They were like a great German there to connect incense to your trade work, to your trade network. Does that mean just build a trade? I already have put. I don't know what really know what that means, but well, I, I know it means they want incense. But how I meant to do it? Do I just put a trade route because I already have a trade route. But wait, but I don't actually have any incense. Hmm. Does that mean I have to try and get incense? Hmm. Oh, God, the galley's there. Um. Okay, now we can just sort of sneak around here. I, I really want our teams to get all the way around the continent without dying. That's all my aim. I actually need to put a few scouts, like a few horsemen, maybe just to explore this area here. Because I think there's a lot of stuff, we, there's a lot of like, interesting stuff we haven't actually discovered over here. Oh, hello. Look, if they freaking destroy my fishing boats, I will not be very happy. Oh, trium attack. I reckon we might actually be able to take them down in one turn. We played the cards right. Ruins! Shame we can't get them. Again. Um, cargo ship, you can go to Kujizidu. Um, let's make a workshop. Attack. Boom. Nobody messes with frickin' Venice. Back to them. Yeah, I reckon... <laughs> It's sort of a sneaky sort of thing to do, but I sort of have just an urge to attack Songhai before they attack us. Because I reckon we could take down Tag Hazard. Maybe not Tombuck 2, but I have a feeling we could take down Tag Hazard. I just sort of, I want to, but I know it wouldn't be for the best. But then again, we do have a lot of happiness and a lot of gold. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens in the future, but... I'm considering attacking them. Just, just, just thinking about it. You know, if the diplomatic you sort of have to be peaceful, but I don't know. I sort of didn't trust them for some reason. Around there. Oh, we have to get open borders. Oh, damn it! It can't go all the way around. So we need to get open borders. We can get through there. Wait, uh, they better have civil service so we can get open borders. They better. Great wall has been built in a faraway place. We'll start building that then. Let's get theology. You have discovered theology. Let's build, create new great people. Um, but dream and alert. Can I get open borders? Yeah, empire's famous for a strong economy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, cool. Open borders. Will you become friends with me now? Oh, I can't ask again. I think I have to wait for a bit. Hmm, I don't trust him. Just look look at that look in his eyes. And you can just sort of see the burning city in the background. I might give away. Uh, I just hope that isn't Venice, the skin burn in the background. Hopefully not. If not, you can predict the future. Well, hopefully not, anyway. Actually, no, not alert. Wait, wait, you know. Do nothing. Um, yeah, go for compass. Oh, we can get our special unit, the Great Galias. Galeas. A brutally powerful medieval era near unit used to rest control of the seas with its range attack. Better at attacking and defending than normal Galeas it replaces. Um, but more expensive. May only be built by Venice. I just realised if we sort of purchase a lot of them in Genoa. Damn! Ah, uh, I thought we could go around there and attack Tag has using that, but you can see that little bit of Arctic there blocking it off. Uh, that's annoying. So there's no, there's no real like naval sieves. There's no real like. I really wish I was like saw like a sieve saw like around here. I could just completely destroy. I just really hope there's some cool sort of naval sieves that come around like then that are near that we could actually attack. Actually, I just realised if we send all our galeuses, it'll take a long time. If we send all our galeuses around there, we could attack the Russians from here. Hmm. Just an idea. Actually, I just realised if we take down some guy. 
like a few of their cities. That means more trade routes. At the moment, attacking some guy seems actually like a good idea. So yeah, put that in the comments down below if you would like me to attack some guy. And yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Catherine completed the Petra. Good job, Catherine. Woo. Okay, wait, wait. Ah, we're getting attacked. Anyway, actually, no, I'm gonna end this turn. Actually, why not? Attack them. Oh damn, we can't freaking use that. Yeah, pikemen are really good against horsemen. By the way, that, that's why I could take it down so easy. Let's move him here. Um, let's move Trim. Right around here. Actually, the Trim can't go back to Genoa because of that bit of ice. Oh come on. Actually, if we purchase Valletta using a merchant, then we could attack Taghaza from there. Hmm. Seems like a honestly attacking Songhai at the moment. Seems like a really, really good idea. Like, I sort of try and play a bit more peaceful, but... Anyway. Okay, th yeah, this has been the Lazy Gamer 66 Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends... Uh, Lazy... Sorry, I keep on saying Lazy Gamer... Yeah, I, I will get it sometime. Anyway, this has been the Cornish Gamer. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, add to your favourites, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.